Phase one. Three years ago, we asked the question, can it be done? We posted a video with no plan, no money, just the seed in our pockets and a deep burning vision. Can a band of pioneers move into the inner city, into one of the most blighted and crime-ridden zip codes in the U.S. and build a sustainable, thriving community from the inside out? Can we grow all of our own food? Can we grow 2,000 pounds of fish in the area the size of a living room? Can we generate all of our own energy? Can we create jobs from within the community? Can we make a difference in the next generation? Can we work together to see hope emerge from the urban rubble and hopelessness? Can it be done from the inside out? Can it be done by the outcast, the drug addict? Can it be done with those on parole? Can it be done by the children? So much has happened since then. Welcome to the concrete jungle. Inner city, Kansas City. Lycan's neighborhood, ground zero. A place we call home. A place where hope thrives amidst hopelessness. Where one in 11 people will become victim of a violent crime. Where every block has at least one house full of bullet holes. We're looking around and we look down and we find a bullet that has the, the riflings and the dust, the glass dust from the solar panel. A place where arson has burned down hundreds of homes, including three houses at the same time on our block one day this spring. Fire number one. Fire number two on the other side over there. A place where more than 50% of kids don't graduate in the first four years. A place where kids roam the streets at midnight and metal scrappers roll down the street with the neighbor's air conditioners in their shopping carts. A place where men beat each other over who gets first run of the garbage dumpster. Where homes are purchased for a dollar because people are too afraid to buy. A forgotten land, too far gone for community development firms and politicians to get behind. Yet a land full of hope for those who have eyes to see it. I've seen a number of guys that have come into contact with UFG that have turned their life around. Six months with the urban farming guys has changed my life. Uh, I wouldn't be doing any of the stuff that I'm doing today without, without them. Got my head busted open a couple times, got beat up, jumped, stabbed, uh, various things. I came here pretty messed up in the head and with nothing. And by the time I left, I now have my own house, a good backing system for staying clean. Like, I remember getting high and praying to God to get me up off of this stuff, because it's destroying my life. I remember crying out to him and crying out. And then, and then at the same time, I had to make a decision. I ended up here because I was, I was running around the city being stupid and uh, ended up getting, getting booted out my aunt's house and started living on the street. And it's like, UFG introduces love to a lot of people that haven't felt it and haven't seen it to a community in a whole. In the last three years, mountains have moved. We have seen urban lots transformed into beautiful community gardens. Over 20 lots so far. And in the last year, we just purchased 18 more. Vacant lots that were completely destroyed are now becoming thriving centers of community and growth. Community coming together. Hope beginning to rise. Next, we're creating our own energy. Last month, the electricity bill for our base was $3. Then, we attached gutters to the solar panels and built a massive rain catchment system to harvest over 45,000 gallons of clean rainwater each year to irrigate the community gardens. Our internship is rapidly expanding, and just as we were running out of space, two months ago, someone offered to sell us the house across the street for a dollar. So after spending one of our last few dollars, Another person called and gave us 25000 to begin to fix it up and expand our programs. And we got to work. This house is flying together. This summer, not having any idea this would all fall in place, we picked up the acre of land behind the house for pennies and began to get it ready for some serious urban agriculture. We're gearing up to install this 150-foot-long greenhouse we just found for 10% of its value. We believe that a sustainable community needs to have its own thriving economy. And this is what we're doing about it. We're raising up future growers through our apprenticeship program. We are creating economic opportunities. We're now shipping baby fish all over the country. We're creating micro businesses for people to run. 
Tyrone, who runs our worm farm and is right here from Lycan's neighborhood, is getting ready to launch our latest product, worm castings, nature's best soil conditioner. And when we're not hard at work teaching hands-on entrepreneurial skills in the neighborhood, our team is gradually learning all kinds of skilled trades from sheetrock to carpentry and plumbing as we renovate two houses that we purchased this year for under $1,500. I mean, what, to, to chopping wood, to uh, <laughs> construction, to build, uh, teaching this plumbing on houses, it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing, and I just see them all doing that at once, man, and just helping everybody out. And to top this off, the crime stats keep going down. 62 less violent crimes this year in our five block radius, and a total of 18% drop since we began. And lastly, our after school art program for the kids in Lycan's <laughs> neighborhood is still going strong. Not only can it be done, but it's being done by the very hand of those who used to destroy it. Our greatest partners in this work are right from the block. <laughs> turn this whole thing on its head, our team now has more good being done by ex-convicts and drug addicts than what we could have ever done alone. The very people who used to destroy it are now the ones building it up. This year, two of the most notorious copper thieves in the neighborhood turned their lives around and joined the work. Ironically, they are now working to put all the electrical wires back into our buildings. Before coming to UFG, one of my biggest, we used to call them hustles, one of my biggest Things for income was actually breaking into vacant houses and taking out the electrical wiring because copper's very lucrative at the scrap yards. Six months ago, if you were to have described me to people, uh, the most appropriate way to describe me would have been the most notorious metal scrapper on the block. Um, there's many, many houses right now that are bare because of me. One of UFG's associates is, um, remodeling a house that me and my buddy stripped of all the electro all of the wiring the tubs we destroyed it and he's been giving us an opportunity to go back in it and help revitalize it and bring it back can it be done the answer is yes it's always been yes yes because it's the very heart of god life will emerge right out of the cracks in the asphalt if you let it these last three years have been the most beautiful, painful, wild and redemptive years we have ever experienced. We got in way over our heads and will never go back. But the story has just begun. We are now entering phase two. We are raising the stakes with these two impossible questions going forward. Question number one. Can we empower others to grow $1 million in annual produce in Lycans and the surrounding four neighborhoods by 2020 and begin to build neighborhood economy in healthy food access? And question number two, can we change the trajectory of at least 200 youth from Lycans neighborhood? We believe a sustainable community has the power to grab a hold of the imagination of the next generation and propel them forward into their destiny. Check this out. This spring, we made a ridiculous offer on a warehouse down the street for less than $30,000, and we got it. We own this 20,000 square foot building debt-free, and we're gonna build a dream. This summer, 20 architects in Kansas City came together pro bono to help us design this dream. A dream for the next generation. Create Space. Create Space is a place that brings the community together to learn, to make, to grow. It's a place where there's nothing you can't make. 24-7 hub of invention, inspiration, incubation, and mentorship. It's the laboratory that we never had growing up. Everything from robotics to welding, aquaponic gardening, woodworking to electronics, Photoshop to music, sewing to artwork, and a future commercial kitchen in the entire backside to help incubate locally grown value-added food businesses. Tools for absolutely everything. Nightly classes on everything from entrepreneurship to market farming from welding certification to beekeeping, a place where any skill can be learned hands-on. But here's the magic. CreateSpace brings together many genius. Makerspaces all over the world are drawing talent and skills out of the woodwork. Many geniuses whom given the tools, the sky is the limit. There are hundreds of people in your city who don't have a half million dollars to spend on tools, but they'd gladly spend $50 a month to be a part of a makerspace that does. A financially self-sustaining makerspace buzzing with multiple disciplines. Bam! We have just multiplied our mentorship pool for the youth of Lycan's neighborhood. We scholarship 200 kids from Lycan's and expand our programs 
and I promise you there will be kids coming out of Lycans with super skills and mentors they desperately need. This is what we're already doing on a small scale. We're just about to blow it out of the water. Right now, we're asking for your help to get the word out. Several donors have already come together and pledged to donate $31,000 of matching funds to kick this off. If we can raise $31,000 this month, every donation will be doubled. Every $10 counts. To launch CreateSpace, we need to raise $200,000 to be fully sustainable and operational. We'll seek an additional $200,000 in funds or equipment over time to fully take advantage of the space. In true to style, we'll squeeze a dollar out of every dime. With your help, we can bring this dream into reality. All donations are tax deductible under the Urban Farming Guys nonprofit 501c3 charitable status. Help us bring on phase three, which is a sustainable, self-reliant, economically empowered neighborhood with indigenous leaders taking charge and leading the way. It's, it's a lot to come with the homeless life. A lot of stuff you want, you know, sleeping in Baco, stuff like that. You know, not making it to the uh, to the homeless shelters on time, so you gotta sleep outside in the snow sometimes. Lost my dad at 16. Uh, went to prison at 17. The first place I came when I wanted to get clean was here. First place I thought of when I wanted to stop doing all of that was the urban farming guys. I mean, they offered me a place to stay that was clean. They they worked out a contract with me to, 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 to get me on the right path and get me walking. And I think that is what I owe my current sobriety to. They really show you a lot of love. The Air Performer guys have helped me on my journey by actually sitting me down and, and talking to me. My name is Chaya Kolavali and I'm a master's student in anthropology. My name is Simon New. I'm from New York City and I came here because I wanted to learn about aquaponics. My name is Stanley Guteni Bebe. I plan to take the technology technologies with me to Zimbabwe. I learned that you don't need a million dollars or even a thousand dollars to uh, make a difference in your neighborhood. I think Urban Farming Guys is awesome at taking what they have and just making a whole lot with it. My name is Warren Hills Boss. I'm from Fairmont, West Virginia and I'm a law student interested in uh, sustainable development and uh, holistic approaches to developing communities and entrepreneurship. This is a place, one of the best places to go to, to learn. UFG, man, is touching the youth. It's, uh, it's, hitting, it's hitting the core issues of, uh, of life in general, all different uh, walks of life, man. I'd have to say that this is, this is like a little beacon of light in amongst a, a city of darkness. Life, life, that's what's here. It's, it's, a, it's growing life constantly. And not just life in plants, but life in humans, life in people. Farm and just period, and, but it's just in the hood. <laughs>
can it be done? We believe that you are a part of the solution. Stay tuned. Sharing knowledge, feeding nations.